I woke up today thinking, I got to do something impossible new for, and I was like, okay. There are actually four achievements that uh, EU4Wiki is considering impossible. Two of them already have one faith and true heir of Timor, so we only left with two other achievements to do. One of them is the Free Mountains, and the other one is Eat Your Greens. I was thinking a lot, what should I do? And the Free Mountains is probably something more for the live stream, it's a very long term campaign. That's why I decided I'll start an actual single player campaign for Eat Your Greens achievement. This achievement requires you to start a small Kale in Burma, two provinces minor, and freaking conquer every single grassland in whole Asia until the age of absolutism. So near around 160 years. How am I gonna achieve that? Oh, I've prepared some 400 IQ moves, so you better fasten your seatbelts and get ready for that. And before we start, I would like to point out a new project that I started a couple of weeks ago that is called EU4ABC. Those are short one minute videos trying to explain semi experience mechanics that you should understand to get your level of the skill from low and mid level to the higher level. We can see there are stuff like how to steal the technology. We started pretty strong, but in the next 130 few years, I need to conquer plenty of other provinces in Asia and I'm just gonna do that very easily. First of all, I'm gonna take a look at Ava, which I do like to conquer ACP to take over its tributaries and see their rivals. Lanna. Well, Mr. Lanna, yes, you'd like to be my ally. So uh, why I'll be conquering North, trying to get to Tibet, because we want to form Tibet Horde. I will be building favors on Lanna, so they're gonna help me kill Ava. Hopefully it's gonna work. In the meantime, I'm gonna rival Manipur, which I'll be conquering, as well as Munkyang. To build the Spina took faster, I'm gonna use the Burma trade and change this policy, trading policy, to Spina to construction. Why is sending another merchant, I don't know, to Chengdu. And uh, to use that, of course, build Spina to on Manipur. And I will also try Aligning Monk Mao, yes, because this is the only nation around here that you'll need for the mission uh, that is not a tributary state of Ava. So, you'll we'll need to either vassalize everyone in this area or make them my ally. So, this is gonna be enough. I'll be nowhere close to get to one stability, especially if that I will have fight my overlord. So, this is why I'm not even can't to have a possible stability. And this is also why I'm gonna take the cheaper advisors for every estate right away, same as the power points, uh, so we will not care about stability at all, I need cheaper advisors to go and uh, build up faster. On top of that, I will take a look at the religious diplomats, manpower from the nobility, that's 30%, so instead of 10.5 thousand, that's gonna be slightly more, we need a month to update that, and from the merchant guilds, prestige, as well as uh, money. And of course, some of the diet, which is gonna be improve the prestige to 50. As for the advisors themselves, I'll focus on the military guy to get the discipline and get the tech faster because you might, you know, combine favors on Lanna with uh, tech 4 being taken be before Ava. So, just as a reminder, eat your greens. It's an extremely hard achievement where it, <laughs> yeah, it requires you to conquer 147 provinces, all of the grasslands in Asia before Age of Absolutism, so we have around 165 years to do so. I will also already delete my calf, and on their place I will build a free company, uh, which will be taking me over the first limit, but it's fine, I'm gonna get this spider to our money pool very fast. We also need a ruler leader, hopefully free siege. Tututu is good, army stats wise, but it's bad we don't have any siege peep. Let's try recruiting, yeah, I'm gonna use this one to win the battle and this one to siege down. Now make a claim and right away I'm gonna go ahead and declare the war to start expanding towards Tibet. Very straightforward uh, and I'm gonna right away... Who are you allied to? Oh, this boys. I'm gonna right away start building Spinatron Kashar. But I think the stats are uh, random that we're getting at the start. And I of course got the guy that is minus 20% improved relations. I think in one little test run, like just set changing the setup at the start, I had the guy that was decreasing the AE impact. So this one is a little bit worse. In any case, let's just piece this out. 
give me money. That's gonna be something for us. And uh, I could add it to the trade company, but yeah, just start calling it, make a claim on Kashar, and in one second I'll be actually attacking again to keep expanding. Because I have issues with uh, tolerance, and that's causing me a lot of unrest. I'm just gonna go to my, what the hell is that, merchant guilds, and get tolerance to the heretics and heavens, which is gonna help us with that a lot. So, you see, Tolerance of the Heavens is just minus 0.3 right now. And this is far better, but it's still... What's it showing free intolerance? Stop trolling me, game, and show the correct numbers. Yes, now it's just, you can see, 0.6 of unrest and both, which is still too much. But what if I go like that and just start managing these rebels? Huh. Okay, this is doable. I just have to go strictly here and do that. Then I'm gonna have herbs only in Manipur, which is 6,000 instead of 8,000. But honestly, uh, yeah, even if I increase unrest, it wouldn't change anything. So I'm just gonna go and fight them. And I'm declining the tribute. I don't care about you ever. And this is actually good news, guys. They broke our tributary state. Meaning that they still have all of their other tributary states. But. But I don't get minus the stability for attacking them as their subjects. So it's gonna be far easier. In the case, let's just go take these two provinces. My borders are getting better. And uh, right away, declare one Eva, Eva, how it is pronounced again, and uh, call my ally Lanna. Now, the thing is, as they have 9,000 troops, I'll just go back and let them start sieging my capital. And as soon as they start doing so, it should be easy battle for us. Told you they're gonna do that right away. So I'm engaging with all my capital, of course, one stack came uh, before the other. <laughs> Let's change the least leader for the better one. And I can also take... Ah, they did not start seeing now. I wanted to take 1000 from the siege, but you can see... That's a close battle! That was super close battle! And, but at least they've lost more troops than us. And of course, the game is trolling me 2-0 to Ares, that's something that I was looking for. I'm gonna disinherit him as soon as I get to 50 prestige for our mission. Can I also wipe them in the capital? I did not go right away over there. That would be easy if I did. But thanks to my ally, I managed to wipe them. So, this is good. Let me go and start seeing provinces around. One mistake that I did is that before starting the war, I should have allied Monk Mao. Now, when I take a massive ice expansion from this war, I'm not so sure it's gonna be possible, but I hope it will. And this is all provinces for ourselves. Like, he, yeah, Lanna is not occupying anything. That might be slight of a collision against us. But all of these nations will be our tributaries. So let's do this. Immediately ally this boys. This allows me to click this mission. So you know what? These guys are our tributaries. Now when I click this, I should inherit all of these nations with one click. <laughs> like, I have only two missions that are not the default missions. And these two missions are already really nice. So we have 1451 and all of these provinces are ours ready. So next step is to go and form a Tibet. Oh look guys, I inherited also all of the armies. I have 41,000 troops now. <laughs> uh, what is this doing? Let's uh, just take it. Oh boys, can I... Yeah, I can rival Assam and Arakan. Which is actually good. Because uh, I'm gonna go and attack Arakan. Come on, I need a mouth tick. Uh, for the Cassius belly, uh, remove this boys. Now my first limit is 15. So I'm gonna keep one, two three armies, the rest has to be unfortunately removed and uh, I'll be working right now on getting humiliate rival Arakan to get the Parak over here. And I think we already got uh, information that they're not going to vice rival, <laughs> but I can still go and attack them for this castle's belief because it is a month tick to update. I can also take the high income here, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna have a different mission tree and uh, I will also take this guy, no? This guy that is 50% cheaper. I would prefer a guy that's giving me improved relations, honestly. So, no, let's just wait for someone else. And from here, uh, uh, prestige. So, how is my money? My money is bad. Uh, oh, yeah, my first limit decreased as well. That's why I could state something, but I'm gonna leave stating something uh, for later. Let's just start calling this first because we will need to change our culture, right? Uh, let's remove this, boys. Still, over the first limit, remove this, boys. A little bit better, and uh, I will need to get rid of another 
Ah, let's remove another 2,000. And inheritance is, I think, an event for karma. We need to increase it. So let's go for the first option. Now the money situation is far better. I'm just one over my force limit. Oh yeah, I also got my prestige. So let's go and disinherit this piece of trash. By the way, promo is my still attributary state. It's good. They're gonna give me money. <laughs> one bad news with me getting to Tibet is that... Like, I saw that Bengal declared on Kosh, but I didn't think they're gonna also take princes from Assam, which is not a co belligerent in this world, they're just a second nation. So now we have an issue. Because, uh, to get to Tibet, ah, I can just become a tributary of Ming, I think that's gonna be enough. Uh, at the end, they gave, they gave me a little bit of a problem. I might have end up fighting with Bengal, which we don't want to do for sure. Yeah, to make it more interesting, I got warned by Bengal. Screw you, Bengal. What is your rivals? Chaumpur Vijay Odisha. Well, we have to think about becoming ally one of the three. And I think Chaumpur is gonna be the closest. By the way, my one person loans, as you remember, were just for six ducats. So I can repay them and take them again. Which will give me 500 ducats, and so I'll just stay on 5 loans without taking any further rolls. I could show Strength Aragon to get 300 power points, but I think Humli is gonna be more worth long term. Meaning that uh, I'll embrace the Golden Era in some time thanks to this. Let's just go. Wait one second. Why I can't Humli it here? Don't you say they changed it and they have to be my current rival to do this? See, there's no option. Ah, then I'm gonna show strength. <laughs> 300 power points is still something. And a lot of power projection. Please tell me I can rival uh, Bengal. Yes, that's gonna be easier to ally Jaumpur thanks to it. And of course, Kham. Now, Mr. Mink, become their tributary. Yes, please. Now, thanks to this, I'm gonna be able to, you know, attack Kham without fighting Mink. Not to mention they're gonna protect me from a potential like from Bengal. Oh yes, Mr. Jaumpur, speaking of Bengal, thank you so much for the alliance. Okay, time for the conquest of Tibet. And it's gonna be a key part of this gameplay. Ah, I can ask Lanna to help us. Conquest of Markham, let's go. This game freaking hates me. What the hell? <laughs> One, two, two. <laughs> Remember, guys. <laughs> I have queen 112, 1 2 2 heir, 2 2 2 king. He's 54 years old and I have to disinherit to get a better one ASAP. That's what I wanted. Svasavke 453. This is what we're looking for. And I'm thinking this battle over here that I just started on minus 3 might have been a big mistake. And. Hmm. Hard to say. 2.13, 2.08. No, we, we are just losing that. You know, I'm just sitting these two guys down because I want to separate this piece of for white piece to have a shorter truce because uh, for the mission to invite the Mongols to become a horde, I need to conquer all of the Tibetan provinces. That's why this is just a white piece. Now, after fully annexing uh, Kham, which we have to do, that's a bit of AE, I'll do a claim right away of Sagi Yogir. As well as Tsang, so we can continue our expansion right away, I just need to get my troops back first. I'm changing my mind, wanted to attack Sagi Yogir, but in the meantime, they managed to ally Oirat. <sighs> so we need to wake. Like, wait, the Oirat is not gonna be willing to join it. Or in the meantime, expanding to Tsang and then Guga in you. Now I've got the issue because I thought that I would be able to take processes from Limbuvan that I need for the next mission tree. And you see. I will be missing one province. We don't have enough war score cost, unfortunately. Let's and we just go and piece this out. That's a lot of AE, but we have to handle somehow. Can you just take as much as we can? Because shift does not work. Thank you. Shan is becoming pretty big. 45 because expansion Ming in the meantime. Let me just start uh, coring everything and we might start thinking about developing the institution. Uh, two e two reasons for that. First of all, we're gonna get the large city and second of all, we're gonna get the Renaissance, so faster golden era. Just uh, before I do that, I need to core all of these provinces and uh, change my culture. What the hell cultures we are having here? Change my culture to Tibetan and form Tibet. So while waiting for everything, I'm gonna go off and not attack Assam because I'm warned by Bengal. Uh, I need to attack one of my rivals uh, because I want to do the Humli at, la at last. 
Lang Chang seems to be the best possible nation to attack. They have just 5,000 troops and no allies to help. Ah, and I can call Lan Na to help me out here. <laughs> even better, guys. They got almost fully annexed by the other guys, like even Tian, Chen, Bashak, they got released, and I yet, and they're left with one province, so I assume my ally is just gonna do all the work. It's free real estate. Look, I just stated this too. First of all, accept Tibetan, then change my main culture to Tibetan. To form Tibetan nation, I have to change my religion to Vajrana and state Lhasa. That won't be an issue. So I just got surprised that it's not showing me that you went anymore here when I'm reading in you for Vicky that it is not required to keep playing as Kale to earn the achievement, but changing tag will hide it from the achievement tab. So I'm a bit confused here. Am I gonna get this achievement or not? Okay, uh, just read it. You can form the other tags just as a thought. Just I cannot see the requirements. So to see what princes I'm missing, I need to keep looking on you for a wiki. We are all good here, guys. Oh shit, guys. I'm getting the peasants war because of this negative stability. Looks like we'll have to deal with it after all, but... I think that I will just simply wait for this province to be cored first, to just pull the stability a bit cheaper. You know, worst case, if I don't get achievements, this is gonna be at least a cool campaign, because I think playing the hard way is the only way. That's really fun over here, without exploiting any global trade, not spoiling anything. I want to do actually this achievement before 1600, without any exploits. What? This Chagatai... Ah, Google is a tributary state of Chagatai. Well, Chagatai has 12,000 troops and potential attack behind. Uh, I can deal with that. This is fine. We just have to focus on wiping these two nations' troops ASAP before Chagatai comes to us. And that's why I'm also gonna probably just go ahead and take this deck right away. Well, good news is actually Jumper wants to help me here. <laughs> Please, come. Well, 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 my first gun from what about tax meta this time? No, what is Aparaja succession? Prestige, legitimacy, monthly air claim chance, nothing really OP. Yeah, now I'm just gonna go for the manpower. Guys, good news, Saki the Yogir is no longer under Oirat's protection. Which is gonna attack them with uh, Lanna called in. So Lanna is gonna take care of them, and uh, I'll be the winner <laughs> pissing out Chagatai. About that, there we go. I can at least take 17 ducats. Mr. Sagi Yogi, I only need these two provinces. I could take more to get border with Oirat. And I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Because Mr. Oirat. You pissed me off earlier. Now the last step is to form Tibet. And to do that, I need to change the region. It seems, ah, it's gonna be hard, Slavic. You have to spawn rebels, they have to enforce. No, actually for Buddhists, you can just change it, same as from Catholic to Protestant. So I need just to double check, Vajrana. So the one that is giving us moral of armies. Of course, that also takes stability. This is fine, boys. Uh, it allows me to form a Tibetan nation. Yes, please, I have no idea what these ideas are. Nothing really changing much. More importantly, I can take this mission. I can take this mission. I can take uh, this mission. And one last most important will be this one. Uh, now to have it, I just uh, lacking to ally a port with at least a hundred development. I delete should be Oirat, but they hate my guts. Um, same for Chagadai. Because they desire my provinces, Hami in the human. So I could, in theory, just get rid of these two provinces. Just do this and this. Return province. Return province. Now we have Karadel here. And uh, I will start improving relations with Oirat to get that achievement. I can even draw a marriage them. Mission, not achievement. Now, Mink, you are attacking Chagatai. Really? You could have done that far earlier. I honestly need a bit of money, so let me just go and sell the titles and immediately seize lands to get it almost to 20. As it's still not much, honestly, but it's uh, an honest number. I should retake my 1% loans in the meantime, so 1, 2, 3. Tick, 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 tick. Retake them because the, the size keeps increasing. I have 800 ducats and spend this 800 on repaying most 
of our 4% loan, so we just left with one of them and the interest is far lower. Can I also use favors to take some money from Jaun Pro, please? Mr. Alright, let me just go and re-emerge. And immunity ally, which will allow me to take and form a horde. Tick. Mr. Horde, take this mission. Which uh, I can improve relations, I can change my nation to Kalka, uh, which will keep my current uh, group of culture, or we can uh, get cold shoot and change my culture group to Oirat. I think in any case I want to change my culture to uh, go and form Siam soon, so I'll go for the one that's giving me a better ruler, 6, 1, 2. Tick. Color is not too good, but it's fine. One to four, that's a bit different. Uh, I guess it's fine. I have to go. <laughs> By the way, can I raise any provinces already? This one maybe. Nope, there's nothing to raise here, but it's fine. Uh, let's just go ahead and change the reform here. <laughs> Power, of course, and uh, boost our stability back to zero. That hurts. And uh, next step, remember, all of these are my full cores. So I can go in state, state, state. This is state, state. You can see Shan is 40% of my culture now. I can this state, this state. Now it's 51 my culture. I can make it my main culture right now. And I can form Siam. Just to do that, I need to conquer more provinces around here. And as a horde, that's gonna be extremely easy. Did I get Casus Billion everyone around the world? Tribal Conquest? Yes. I think we can even start with Bengal. I'll just tell you how to... Yeah, we'll go solve first. I'm just a little bit worried my AE, but yeah, we have some space over here. Let's just go solve. I'll recruit uh, 2,000 of CAF, because I need some cavalry to fight over there. And by the way, uh, my economy should be also better, yeah, with all of these provinces stated. You know what, guys? I will go after Bengal. Just the question is, can I get any mercs? No, I will just have to get even more calf. So let's get uh, alone. Don't worry. And that's why I'm going into this war. Uh, to repay these loans. And we're gonna crush Bengal because I need to start raising the hell out of them. Call Lanna and uh, Jaunpur show superiority and we need to win battles here. And just to make sure, actually I'm just gonna go and take this technology, uh, it is fine. Of course Jaunpur is already losing all of the wars current armies, but yeah, I guess this is fine. We just a typical siege stack for 460 days and uh, cannot finish. I just hope they don't want to siege my capital down too fast. <laughs> Man, this is 500 days already while Jaunpur is getting full siege in the meantime. Can you go down at last? You have just zero defensiveness here. I'm having 60% here and it's just gonna go down faster, twice faster. This is standard, right? Okay, at least I got a wipe here, which is some war score. And we need to somehow get to Jaunpur to defend them. Ah, guys, I forgot. I've got tribes now. 63% of the crown land. So let me go and take just better relations, general calls, national more manpower, so my maximum power is gonna be even higher. And of course Jaunpur went down 28%, but at least, let's see the battle, okay, how much stronger my army should be, far stronger, 10% discipline on morale and on flatland, but I didn't really feel like being much stronger. How about defending on the hills, this is not flatland, so it's not gonna be that easy for a horde, let's just take a look. <sighs> Let's go. So it's not gonna be that easy for a horde. You came to the wrong war, Mr. Delhi. I think you might want to leave it very soon. This one wasn't that easy, but they've lost far more troops. What if I just stand on their capital? <sighs> yes. Yes. They left with 6,000 troops. Tick. Same for Tirhut. Where the hell is Tirhut? That is this nation. Get rid of them. They rejected now. But in any case, uh, they left with far less troops now. This is actually good news that Jaunpur got pissed out because A. I want to conquer them sooner or later and uh, B. They are just taking uh, uh, you know, war participation, so right now all of the money will go to myself. The reduced size of the Bengali's army is 3,000 already. 60,000 died on their side and I of course lost their freaking fort to freaking rebels. Yeah, this is problematic because of the size 
to my country and my force limit. Uh, the rebel size was also huge. I need to recruit some mercs, which is not gonna be helpful to my money situation. Why don't I also recruit two generals and slacken in the meantime? This is the end. Uh, I'm gonna cut them in half, take a few grasslands already. Full money, most importantly. So now I can. Uh, let's just first. To low development, so Z is a shortcut for raising, at least for me. I think uh, I've heard that from some people that it's an old shortcut, it does not work in the newer uh, versions of the game. Uh, so I might want to change it. Now, I've got so many power points, I'll go to Ava. Right, I want. Uh, Ava is gonna be the. Yes, I can actually decrease the development here, so it's gonna be cheaper to develop institution. Uh, stay dead. Of course, I don't have death cost from this, boys. And let's just go ahead and start doing the institution over here. So, spread is minus 14. I have so much mana that it's gonna be easy. Cost of the institution is 460. Let's embrace it right away. Take the technology. And look, the new idea group and uh, it's tough. Well, we could start with Horde for calf cost mainly and aggressive expansion impact. Or we could go aggressive and take admin and I'm just gonna go do that exactly. Next, next step is to attack David. That won't be easy either. Especially that they are not gonna be helped by IFI. I absolutely love it. And of course I got trolled because IFI after all joined this war even though it was saying that they will not. One good news is that I can start knowledge sharing to Ming. Which is gonna fix, no, maybe not entirely, but more or less my situation with money because instead of losing 13 ducats per month, like right now, by the way, let's just go and uh, take this boy over here. Instead, I'm just gonna lose uh, three ducats, two ducats monthly, slightly better, right? Now, if I find being uh, even money on top of white piece, I can go and uh, fully peace out dive yet. I'll take all of the snow from provinces. Should be fine. Same, take money. Maybe instead of capital. Maybe just something like this. Take full money. We need this like a lot. Start uh, repaying our loans slowly. We just don't want to go into like bankruptcy route. And from all of this process that I just took, same. Raise the hell out of them. We need to start scaling! And in this position, guys, uh, am I close to become a great power? I think I'm easily gonna become a great power. Great... not power because I'm a tributary, but if I wasn't a tributary of pink, I would be currently great power number six, above Castile. And I think this is the perfect situation to finish the first episode of our Eat Your Greens campaign. We started pretty strong, but in the next 130 few years, I need to conquer plenty of other provinces in Asia and I'm just gonna do that very easily. For today, thank you so much for watching guys. Let me know in comments what you think about this strategy and I'm gonna see you very very soon. Bye!